Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is day 14 of Vlogmas, and I wanted to do a video that I promised a couple of days ago, and that is my Disney bag haul. So I wanted just to quickly show all the Disney bags that I currently own. A number of my subscribers currently ask to, for me to show my collection a little bit more often, and I've shown pieces here and there. I did a big collection tag a while back, which is a lot of fun, but I realized I haven't actually shown all the Disney bags that I currently own, and I actually don't think that I own too many. At least I don't own the expensive, expensive ones, but I did want to show you just everything that I own, and that includes suitcases and cosmetic bags and even small, small tote bags. So that is what I'm going to show in today's video, and then stay tuned because there's also going to be the advent calendar opening per usual, and I'm also going to show you something nifty that I got from Kohl's, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so the very first thing I'll just start with is a Christmas bag. And I got this last year for 2017, and it's just a Happy Holidays Walt Disney World tote bag. And you can see it has the entire gang on front. And this is just a fun, festive bag for the holidays. I also received, or I received this one for, for free as part of the subscription box, but I also previously purchased the Disney tote bag from the previous year, but I gave it to my parents. So I own that in kind of in theory, but not really. I don't I don't physically have it in my house because it's at my parents' house, sitting in a closet, not being used. <laughs> but this is tote bag number one. The next bag that I'm going to show is this backpack. And this is an Elsa Frozen theme backpack. This is, yes, my daughter's backpack that she takes to school every day. We just picked her up, so she has her lunchbox in here. So that is currently one of the items that we own uh, that is a Disney bag. Like I said, I'm just going to show you everything. On that same note, this is my daughter's lunchbox, and this is also Disney related. This is Elena of Avalor themed. This is a TV show on the Disney Channel. She does actually watch this one from time to time at my in-law's house, her grandparents' house, because they have cable, I do not. So this is one of her favorites. So we do have a backpack that is themed to that. I figured that this would be a fun lunchbox to get her because not too many kids have Elena of Avalor merchandise. So it's nice to just have something that stands out from the pack. If I had gotten Frozen, for example, a lot of kids have that. <laughs> the next bag I'm going to show you is something that one of my friends gave me from the UK. She got this from Primark, and I use this all the time. It folds up in this little pouch right here, and it is Mickey Mouse related. You can see there's Mickey and Minnie all over this print. It's just a fun, festive bag. It's great for shopping with. I live in a community where we don't have bags. Um, per se you have to pay for your plastic bag when you go shopping so this is nice to carrying I just usually just have it in my wallet um, in my purse that I'm carrying with me because then I can always make sure that I have a bag to go along with and yes I have a tag on here still but I use this all the time this is a personal shopper bag it tells me what it is and it came from Primark I use this all the time anyway because it's convenient I just haven't gotten the tag off I'm just crazy like that don't worry about me the next bag I own I've shown on this channel a couple of times so some of you might recognize it but this is a purse that I purchased from an online shop. If I can quickly find it, I'll try to post it. I'm not even sure if they're still selling this, but it's just a very cute little tote. I got this last year, and I've used this as part of my giveaways before, so it's just an easy little bag. It's just how deep it is. It's not that deep, but it's a fun little handbag to carry around, and I love the little Minnie Mouse embroidery on the front. It's just a cute, simple, simple bag, and I love wearing this every now and then. So you have the handbag, and then you have the strap as well. The next bag I'm going to show you is currently serving as my everyday backpack and this is from Box Lunch. This is a Little Mermaid themed backpack. You can see there's Flounder right there in the front, there's Sebastian right there, and then you have a lot of coral and reef and leaves and different sea, uh, you know, species all over this bag. It's a very nice backpack. These straps are very comfortable. It's a Disney Loungefly partnership and like all the other bags, it is pretty deep and go down this way. This is what I currently took to my my most recent uh, Disney uh, trip. <laughs> my daughter is playing at my feet. This is what I took to my most recent Disney trip and I love this backpack. It's a little mermaid thing and I get compliments on it all the time. So it's just a fun backpack to take around with me. The next thing that was in there is my wallet and this it was just in my, uh, my backpack. So I pulled this out, but you can see it's a little mermaid themed wallet. This is the wallet that I'm currently taking around with me everywhere. I had started using it when I went to Disney and I just haven't had a chance to take my credit cards out yet, but it's just an easy wallet. The flap goes out like that with Ariel's tail. 
and it's just a fun wallet to take around. The next bag I'm going to show you is technically not a Disney purse, but it, I consider it one because I picked this up from Disney Springs. This was actually the most expensive purse that I ever purchased, or that I had my husband purchase a couple years back for um, for Christmas slash my birthday. I do have a January birthday in the beginning of the year. I'm a New Year's baby, so I fall really quickly after Christmas, and a lot of times I get a joint present, and this was a expensive purse. I think this was like 200 $300 and that was on sale it was marked down so this is the most expensive purse that I own and it's a Kate Spade purchase I love this little like alligator detail right there I love that it's purple and I used to take this around with me everywhere until I got my official Disney purse but this is the one that I covet the most I love this Kate Spade bag it's just so fashionable and I wear purple a lot so this matches a lot of my outfits I once had a, um, I have a friend of mine who is a TV reporter and she took this bag one day because she wanted to just pose with it. She thought it was so cute. But this is my one designer bag and I love this thing. And I got it from Disney Springs um, at the Kate Spade outlet or Kate Spade store. So I consider this a Disney bag even though it's not officially a Disney bag because I bought it on a Disney trip. The next bag is from the dollar store and it's a little bell themed purse. This is actually my daughter's purse. She got this for her bell themed birthday this past August and she loves this thing has a little red and rose on the front and the bell theming and it's a little purple pouch it's a good kids purse but I'm showing you all my Disney bags so I'll include that one as well the next purse is one of my most recent purchases and this is a figment purse it is a crossbody bag so it does go across your body and I love this thing you can see his big smiling face his orange horns his yellow eyes this is so cute and I also got stopped several times in Disney World wearing this and I love this thing. You can see there's not that much space to put too much in here but I did put my makeup and my wallet and my cell phone all fit in here so that's pretty much what it's good for. <laughs> the next bag I'm going to show you is from Tokyo Disney and this I purchased for my daughter. It is a daisy purse. You can see her cute purple bow and she's got a nice, nice little expression here with her eyelashes and the pouch is not that wide. This is really meant to be sort of like a money pouch where you put your passes. You can see my daughter has put Legos <laughs> in there currently. But this is the strap that comes with it also. It has these little flower designs. So I, I purchased this for my daughter in 2016, the one trip that we took to Tokyo. This is one of the items that I purchased. And she loves this thing. I love this thing. It even has this little carabiner hook, which you could put to use your keys if you were to use it for that purposes. But I just bought this so my daughter could have a taste of the parks and I really do love looking at her. I think she's so pretty and she's one of those fun purses that they offer. They have like the hamburger purses that are really popular like the Mickey hamburger ones but Daisy was where it's at. I just thought she was so cute and unique and you never see this kind of merch in the US which is why I bought this at the time. The next bag I'm going to show is my luggage. This is my Minnie Mouse suitcase and I purchased this last year. I got a killer deal on this. I'm so excited. But this has those four-way swivel wheels that just is easy to pull it no matter which direction you're pulling your luggage, which is a huge help. And it's nice and sturdy and pretty. And this was made by American Tourister. I just happen to love this bag so much. And this, yes, this did go on my last, my most recent two trips to Disney World because this is my favorite, my favorite, favorite, favorite luggage. The next bag I'm going to show you is actually my Disneyland backpack. And you can see it has the Disneyland logo on the front. A lot of people have the Walt Disney World version, but they're exactly the same. And there are a lot of compartments. I also use this on my most recent trip in October to Disney World, and I haven't taken all the stuff out just yet, but I love how many compartments it has. I love all the different Mickey faces. And this was just a really cute backpack, and I bought it at the time when Disneyland was doing this sale. You had to spend like at least $20, I think, and then you could get this backpack. I mean, it was spend 40 and then get this backpack for 20 so it was a $60 minimum purchase, something like that, but I usually spend that much anyway, let's just be honest, and I really want this backpack for $20, I thought that was a great deal. The next item is one of my original wallet purses, and that is this design right here. I got this from Disneyland, and it is a really cute little graphic design. You have Figaro down there, you have Mrs. Potts, it says Walt Disney there, you have the Disneyland sign logo going across, you have Mickey Mouse, Stars, Donald, there's just so many different elements on here, Dumbo, and then on the back is just the same design, the Mickey Mouse Club logo. So this is just a really, really cute a little wallet and 
This was the wallet that I used most frequently for the longest time. You can see it has all its compartments. And I most recently stopped using it in favor of my my Little Mermaid box lunch wallet purse. But otherwise, I love this thing. The next bag I want to show is part of my haul. I've shown a lot on this channel. This is my Toy Story bag. You can see the many faces of Mr. Potato Head, and he's dressed as different characters or attractions from the Disney parks. You can see here there's the bellhop, Mr. Potato Head, just like Tower of Terror. You've got the pirate hat, like Pirates of the Caribbean. You've got the cowboy hat, just like Woody. You've got the spaceship hat. So it's different attractions slash uh, characters from Disney. Over here, he's like one of the Main Street guys with the Main Street hat. So it's a really cute bag. And inside it's just got this deep compartment in the screen interior. I use this a lot when I'm shopping as well. So between this one and my Mickey Mouse Shoppers personal tote, I'm usually covered when I go shopping, but I love this bag so much. And I got this as part of a box. I believe it was a, I wanna say gifts for Mickey box I got last year, one of those, but I love this bag so much. We're just down to a handful more, so let's keep going. The next purse is this little wallet, and it is a Minnie Mouse themed wallet. It is purple. I could have gotten any choice of color when I ordered it, but of course I chose purple because this goes along with a lot of things I wear. I also carried this one for a while before I got the different uh, theming of the Walt Disney and Disneyland one, but I love the design on this one. This also came with that Minnie Mouse uh, purse, and this was from a Asian shop based in China, I believe, but I love this purse so much. It's well designed and again if I find the creator I will go ahead and link it in the description but such a unique little wallet and it's well made and I love the materials like a faux leather so it's really really nice. The next thing I want to show is another box lunch purchase and it's Ursula related. You can see the tentacles on the back and the flowers and all this gorgeous design in purple and different colors. It says Disney Lounge Fly and then on this side you do have Ursula's full body looking so, so adorable. And I love that this little, um, it's just like a decal on the side. It does say Disney villains on that side. That's coming out. And then it's in the shape of the amulet locket that she wears, as you can see right there. So this is such a cute purse. And I've also worn this a ton of times. I just think it's so cute. And the interior lining is sort of like a flotsam and jetsam design, if that is coming out. It's just really pretty in purple and black, and I love that you can carry it that way. Well, there's a semi-longer strap. It's not too long, though, so I usually just carry it as a handbag, but I love this purse so much. And this is occasionally still available on Box Lunch's website. Um, I bought this, or actually my mother bought this for me last year as a birthday present, so love this purse so much. And the next thing I'm going to show is also from my friend from the UK and she purchased along with that little shopper's tote this gorgeous translucent Mickey Mouse bag for me. I love these totes so much. This is another Primark purchase and I just love how sparkly this is. I've used this quite a couple of times as well for shopping and I just think this is gorgeous so I love this bag. Love it. The next item I want to show is this backpack. And this is a Mickey Mouse design right there. This is one of the pack packs that came from Shanghai. Um, you can see over here it has the tag still on it. Um, it says Disney Parks Authentic Original. And then it does have the Shanghai Disney Resort logo right there. I got this from a previous box and I thought this was the cutest little design, the backpack. And the Mickey heads all over. I just have a number of backpacks that I accumulated now and so I've never used it. So this is a brand new item. The next thing I want to show is this purse, and I got this from the outlet. You can see it has Minnie Mouse all over it, and it's sort of like a comic strip design. And Minnie's down there going, Wah! and there's just Mickey and Minnie just along it. So cute, you can see different uh, comic strip designs there as well. And this was originally a $40 pur purse in the parks. That backpack was $33. Um, you know, in the U.S., but it came from Shanghai, so it's more unique in that it's a international purchase, but these are both brand new, and then you have the strap as well, so you can wear this as a longer crossbody bag, or longer, you know, um, longer cloak, or the handbag. So those are two new bags I've never, ever worn. And then another bag that I use all the time, and this is my Dooney & Burke purchase. This is the sketch pattern, and you can see it has 
all the cool designs. It is a little stain on the bottom because at this point, I've taken this everywhere with me. It's my almost everyday bag at this point. And my son actually spoiled, he spilled beer on it one day. So it is a little stain from that time. Unfortunately, I can't resolve that, but I do love that this has the Cinderella's castle. It has Mickey ears. It says both Walt Disney World and Disneyland. You've got Mickey, Minnie's bow, Chippendale, Tinkerbell, Mickey balloons, my favorite feature. And then you also have more of it repeating on the back. So there's Mickey and Minnie on here. There's Dumbo. So it's just a really, really cute bag. And inside is like a red interior. So I love this bag so much. One of my favorite purchases ever. I was sad that the sketch backpack that was related to this stopped selling at the parks. They now changed the design. I don't like the new design as much, but I was a really big fan of this purse. And I loved it so much that I also got the matching cosmetic bag. These are my two bathroom bags, but you can see that this is the matching sketch pattern cosmetic bag and I do use this for makeup it just has the same red interior inside and I just love this so much and I actually purchased this separately on the shop Disney website one day because I knew I wanted to have the matching cosmetic bag a lot of times when they have the Doonies on sale they will offer this for free with the purchase of a Doonie on the website but I actually got mine on eBay from a second seller discounted brand new so I had to purchase this one separately and then my other bathroom bag is this one right here and you can see it's Ariel on the front there were two other bags that came on the inside I think that they're currently still in the bathroom so I didn't grab those but it came with a smaller pouch that has Sebastian on the front and then the other one had a floral pattern with I think flounders on the other side of that as well so I just love this so much I think Ariel looks gorgeous in this photo and this is like my favorite lounge fly themed uh, bag makeup cosmetic case they came out with in the past year and a half, I just think this is so, so gorgeous. Love it. And finally, the last bag that I own. This is a Lady and the Tramp themed bag. And this purse came out earlier this year. It is a Dooney and Burke purchase. And I love this so much. You can see that famous scene of Tramp and Lady kissing right there over a bowl of spaghetti. And it's the same on both sides. It does have this little carabiner hook on the side. And in the interior, has the different Disney dogs from that film. I have yet to use this because I was gonna use it on my most recent Walt Disney World trip and then I thought better of it, but I am saving this for a rainy day because I know that I am gonna use this and I love this and I actually got this for half off. I mentioned that in a previous video, but somebody had returned this, they had purchased it from Shop Disney, returned it to my local Disney store and when you purchase a designer item like this and then you return it, they actually are forced to sell it half off, I was told, so they sold this to me for $149. For Judy and Burke, I was just like, I have to buy that. I can't just pass that up. So this is for a rainy day. I'm looking forward to using this really soon, but I just haven't used it yet. And that is all my Disney bags. And the reason I showed you those two bags with the tags is that is my next giveaway. My next giveaway will be a brand new Disney bag. The winner will have their choice of this backpack or this purse, both of which have never been used. They're brand new, been sitting in my closet just waiting to be given away. So this will be going to one of you guys. And the rules for that giveaway are number one, like this video, number two, be subscribed to my channel. Please make sure that your subscriptions are visible. I have noticed in tracking that my previous giveaways that some people thought their subscriptions were visible but they weren't and I've had to disqualify them from the previous entry. So please, 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 if you wanna be entered, make sure that you have selected to not make your subscriptions private. And the way you do that is go to your settings, once you're in your customize channel page and go to settings and then that page there's different tabs that say keep my like videos private keep my videos private unclick that unclick the part where it says keep my <laughs> subscriptions private because then I will be able to verify and I will have to disqualify you if I get your name as the winner and I see that you're not subscribed or I can't verify that I'm going to move on to the next number that is chosen so that I can just be fair because I'm trying to follow the rules for all these giveaways so please just be mindful of that if you're under the age of 18 please get your parents permission before entering and the third rule of this giveaway is just leave a comment saying that you want to be entered and which of these bags you prefer. If your name is chosen as a winner, I will give you the bag that you, so you chose. If you say you want the backpack, I'll give you the backpack. If you say you wanted the comic book strip first, then I'll give you that one. So that is how this giveaway is going to work. So thanks so much for sticking by and stay tuned for the advent calendar. Oh, and one last thing. I just went to my local Kohl's. They did not have this item, but I saw this on a fellow YouTube channel and her name is Karen's USA Adventures. She had ordered this and so I purchased one for myself as well. 
I'm noticing it's got a little crush in the nails and that kind of sucks because it's just arrived. But look at the top corner. That is definitely dented. Thank you, Cole, for taking such good care with my box. But I'm excited for this because this is 12 days of socks. And you can see the box on both sides there. It's Disney Princess related. I had meant to open this two videos ago so that I could go for the next 12 days, but I forgot to. So we're just gonna start right now and I'm gonna open the first two days so that I can be on time for the remainder of the days of these videos for Vlogmas. Get a better look at what they look like right there. So let's open up day number one. And day one, 12 days of socks is, <gasps> it's Princess Jasmine. Oh, these are so cute. So you can see these two socks are Princess Jasmine. That is so adorable. And I do wanna say, I also purchased the 12 days of socks from the Disney store this year. They're so pretty. My sister has been sending me pictures every day. It was actually a birthday present for her because she's also a December birthday baby. So I sent her that box and I've been living by carousel through her pictures, but I got the Kohl's one for myself so that I could also participate. Okay, so day one, Princess Jasmine. Day two, which has Cinderella. Let's see if there's any indi indication that it'll be a Cinderella related item. And we open it up. It is! So you can see this one's actually a shorter sock. So the Jasmine ones were the longer socks. And this is a smaller sock, an ankle sock with the mice. You can see Gus Gus and also the other mouse. I love Gus Gus so much, but you can see um, Timothy, it's a Timothy Mouse. It's Timothy Mouse and Gus Gus on here from Cinderella and they are so cute. I can't wait to wear these. So that is all my socks. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. That's day one and day two. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. Hi everyone. So Hi everyone. <laughs> so what is today? Do you remember what day we did yes yesterday? We did Tokyo and have a treat. We did Tokyo and had a treat, yes, but we did day 13. So that means today is day 14, and this is our advent calendar. It is our Tokyo Treats advent calendar from Tokyo oh, Disney. That's right. Okay, so here is the inside. You can see the fun, festive design. You've got Mickey on one side and Minnie on the other, and a nice festive Christmas tree, and we're going to look for day 14. What's, what's 14 look like? It's just like 13, but this time it has a four. Go ahead. Four and a one? That's right. Four and a one. I think I spotted it. Four and a one. Oh, there you go. So 14 is actually Donald Duck's hand. And you can see he's in a Santa Mickey, um, or a Santa suit, I shouldn't say Santa Mickey, since he's Donald, a Santa Donald uh, outfit, and he has a blue present right by his side. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up and see what's inside. Well, that one's hard to open, huh? Let's pop this side right here. There you go. Can you get it? Yes. She got it. And then Mickey, and then Mickey tree. Okay, this one I'm pretty sure is a cookie which I'm excited about because I've been looking forward to a cookie for a while. So that's our Mickey treat. And let's go ahead and open this up. Yeah, and eat it. And eat it. It's funny, if I spoke Japanese, I might be able to know what that says because it is in Japanese right there on the wrapper. But let's see what's inside. Yay! All right, you open it, you open it. What do you think it is? It's a Mickey cookie. It's like a Mickey cookie chocolate treat. It's definitely a chocolate, but it's in the shape of a cookie. One, two. <laughs> so this one's like a chocolate coated Rice Krispie treat type of thing. I, I definitely taste the Rice Krispie in this flavor. What do you think? Do you like it? Let's eat it's it good? all. I got my lipstick on you. You like it? Let me take one more bite. Well, I eat it all, okay? Okay. High five on that. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Chocolatey goodness, right? What do you think with the flavor? What do you taste? I taste, I taste chocolate. She tastes chocolate. There you go, folks. Chocolate is day 14, a chocolate Mickey head. And that was two thumbs up. Much better than the soda from yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. We didn't like the soda flavor treat. All right. Take care. Take care. Let's say bye. Bye, have a good half. Come back in our video soon. <laughs> bye bye.